Hello everyone. In today's video, you will find a K mini truck, a Suzuki 1993 from Japan, imported over to South Carolina. And this bad boy is for sale. And as you can tell from this side, it is in really, really good condition. Extremely low miles, about 15,000 miles only about 21,000 kilometers. I got to do the math on that. But very low mi very low miles. Great condition. Very high auction grade from Japan. I only bought the highest auction grades I could find and the best low mile vehicles I can get. But look at this truck. New arrival just came in. And I've driven it several times already. And honestly, if this truck does not sell, I'm going to end up keeping it for my farm. Because uh, it is really, really nice. I mean, 21,000 kilometers, you know, that is extremely low. About 15,000 miles, maybe. And it's a really great price, too. Look at the description for the pricing. Visit our website at buyaminitruck.com. Again, buyaminitruck.com. Let's get a little close up. Here's the battery, the battery holder underneath the truck. The tires, the back. Now let's go take this bad boy for a ride. Oh, yeah, by the way, look how clean the interior is. It is extremely clean. Don't mind my uh, clutter right here. That's the Japanese uh, paperwork and the key. But look at that. Look at the low miles. It's got a radio. Look at this. Look how clean everything is. The roof. Look at how clean the roof is. Wow. So the worst part about the truck, the only bad thing I can really find so far, I've been looking really uh, good, but I'm going to keep driving it and test driving it. Um, but right here, just the, the guardrail bed like the bed guardrail um you can easily take this off with a couple bolts i mean look at that right there take it off sand it down paint it brand new white or whatever color you want and it'll be good to go but that might actually get done anyway but in case it doesn't that is the only thing i have um negative to say about this truck i drove it and it drives very very smooth the clutches are very good Let's go take a ride. And quite a bit of leg room. So again, look at the low miles. And here we go. Fires right up. That right there for now. While I buckle up the seat. And I am in second gear. Look at that. So first, second, third, fourth. Okay, this is actually a four gear. The other one I was driving was a five. But this baby has a lot of power for four gears. Let's go for speed. Let's go. Look at that. Look how smooth. Do you hear how quiet the engine is? Look how easy of a drive. 
I'm, I'm one-handed driving, obviously. I'm in second gear right now. Okay, let's test out the turning signals. Okay, so the brakes work. Oh, that's the wipers. I'm on the wrong side. American cars, you know. Okay, turning signals are not working. I will look into this. The horn is a little bit uh, squeaky, but I don't know what else we could do for that. It still works. It just works really kind of loud, annoying sound. All right, so let's go take a test drive down the dirt road. I'll switch into third gear. I just switched over to third gear. Let me focus first down this dirt road and let's go. So I'm in third gear right now, driving down a country dirt road, and this bad boy is running very smooth. Again, I don't have any issues driving it. Um, I like this truck enough to where if I don't sell the truck, I have extra trucks. I have more trucks than I'm wanting to sell. So put it this way, if I do not sell this truck, I'm not gonna cry. Um, I don't need to sell this truck. I, I would actually keep this truck for myself. That's how, how uh, great this truck's running. So I'm going to list it for sale because I don't know what people want. I don't know what brand they want. Do they want a Honda, Suzuki? You know, there's a bunch of different brands. I actually have more trucks on the way and I have more brands on the way too. I got a couple more Hondas, uh, 1997s, uh, but this Suzuki, for the price that I'm gonna list it for, it is a great deal. Um, shop around all you want. I bet any money, this is gonna become a great deal on the price I'm gonna sell it for. And I just, again, I have too many trucks and I need to get rid of a couple, but I'm, I'm going to get rid of only the trucks that people want. And I feel so confident in all of my trucks that I bought from Japan so far that if I don't sell any of them, I will actually keep it for myself, for my farm. So basically what I'm gonna end up doing is I just want, let me go around this corner. This little blind spot. What I'm gonna end up doing is I want, um, I want a truck for my farm and I want a truck to drive around on the streets. You know, go to Home Depot, run some errands, cruise around town, like I've already been doing in my mini trucks. And uh, people love these mini trucks. I'm getting people waving at me, uh, giving me thumbs ups, asking me all the time about these trucks. So if you do want a mini truck and you plan on driving it on the road, be prepared because you're gonna have people falling in love with this little mini truck. Not just this one, but you know, mini trucks in general. So they're really fun little cars, uh, sorry, trucks to drive, not cars. Uh, they're Japanese imported and they're just, they're just really, really good. Okay, let's stop. All right, here we are down another country road. Looks like I'm clear. Let's go. Okay, that was second gear. Here's third gear. And here's fourth. And I, I've been speeding on all three gears. Uh, I have no problem with the engine compression and I've gone uphill a little bit on this as well. And I was able to pick up speed and not uh, lose speed going uphill. So that's really good. But yeah, here we are, fourth gear down a dirt road. And honestly, it's running smoother than I, like I drive a Jeep Wrangler and driving a Jeep Wrangler on this dirt road would be a lot more bumpier, even with normal tires. This truck just, it cruises and it's really, really nice. There we 
are. Look at the speedometer. So again, here we are in the mini truck. Woo, driving down a windy dirt road. Yeah, this is a really nice one. Again, just came in, just got it. New arrival from uh, Japan to Jacksonville to the, where the port in Jacksonville is. And then I had uh, my truck driver pick it up, dropped it off at my farm, and I've been test driving it a few times here and there. And every time I got in this truck, it started right up without a problem. Even going away, like leaving for two weeks, coming back. These trucks fire right back up. I don't have any issues with them so far. And if I did, I wouldn't sell it or I would put it in the disclaimer. All right, we are clear. All right, we are on a highway, country road. And this thing just picked up speed really fast. Look at that. I'm cruising already. Woo! All right. Dropped it down to third, just see what would happen on third. All right, let's turn down this uh, dirt road, gravel road. Windshield wipers work. I know because I just accidentally hit them to turn them on. As again, I'm used to driving a American car, even though I do drive Japanese mini trucks all the time since I've started buying them. But uh, the funny thing is, I feel more comfortable driving a Japanese uh, mini truck on a right side driver than I do with my own. Um, sorry, I had the I had the wipers turned the wrong way, so they were they were continuing to wipe. Uh, so now they're off. But yeah, I actually, I get more comfortable driving a Japanese mini truck than I do actually driving a, a left side driver. It just seems more natural. I think the Japanese uh, figured it out. All the countries with the right side drivers, I think they kind of figured it out. So it's getting this tight parking. That's the other thing, look at this. I'm trying to fit between two, two uh, mini trucks right now while recording with one hand. And everything was good. All right, let's adjust the mirror. Put it in reverse. Okay, so reverse works really well, like it should. Everything works really well. Okay, put it, emergency brake. Let's turn on, uh... you know, the air is actually blowing out kind of cool. So I don't know how well the air conditioning will work with this, but right now it is blowing out nice and cool. And this has been sitting under the sun all day for a couple days now. And as soon as I turn down, I can already feel cold air coming out. So I can't make any promises on the air conditioning because if you know anything about mini trucks, most of them do not have air conditioning that lasts that long. But this one right now feels really good. Everything about this truck looks really good. The price of it is gonna be well worth it. Subscribe, check out the website again. It's called www.buyaminitruck.com. And you will find all of our inventory. And as you can tell, we really do have inventory. There's one right there. Here's one I'm in now. There's another one right there. And uh, 
look at this Jeep Wrangler. That's from Japan too. And that is a right hand driver as well. So there's more mini trucks as well, but they're not in the, on the farm right now. So subscribe, reach out to me, comment down below, reach out to me at buyaminitruck.com. If you would like to email me, you can email me at sales at buyaminitruck.com. Again, that is sales at buyaminitruck.com. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm very honest. I'm not trying to sell anybody a truck that's a garbage. Um, I don't want people mad at me. You can come visit the farm. You can check out all the trucks and you can see for yourself. I mean, there's no pressure, no haggle. Um, I have these mini trucks because I'm a mini truck lover and I figured might as well import some over here and, and sell them because uh, I have a farm to pay for, you know? I am a farmer and all that right there, the silos, the corn. I, I own land and I don't make enough money on my land so I sell these little mini trucks to help pay the farm bill. That's about it. I don't get rich off this. I'm just trying to help pay my farm bill because I invested in land and uh, I would like to keep it that way. So if you have any, any questions at all, please reach out to me. And again, this is extremely low. You're not gonna find too many like that. This is a 1993 in amazing condition. And again, Suzuki. And uh, it's a Suzuki Carry uh, mini truck. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Goodbye.